Hi, everybody. Uh, hi from Tomball, Texas. We just got in in the wee hours of the morning today, and we have our show tonight. It is Friday, February 17th. We're about halfway through the tour. Um, shows went really great um, uh, these past couple of nights, and uh, looking forward. We've got, I think, six shows in a row going on right now, so... Uh, about halfway through this this week's work uh, that we're doing, um, let's see. Um, oh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little music for you. I, I got some stuff to take care of, and th th we couldn't get a late checkout today, so we have to be out of our room here at uh, at one o'clock. But then we're not. The bus drivers aren't back until two o'clock, so we're just gonna be sitting around <laughs> in the lobby or outside. Um, the magic of the road. But uh, I thought I'd just do a little music here and then I'll try to do another video this afternoon when we get to the venue and take a look and see what the venue looks like and share that with you. Um, it's so much fun. People come up to me all the time going, God, I just love, you know, coming on the road with you guys and stuff, watching your video. So it's really nice. I really appreciate it so much. And it brings me a uh, purpose every day. It gives me this little moment uh, in my day where I can actually you know, wander around venues and, and, and share them with you and see things that I would normally have never seen as an audience too. So to me, it's kind of cool. But I'm going to do a little, just a little quick tune for you today. This is from a 1994 album by Sean Colvin called Cover Girl. And she was covering her songs on this, you know, different songs and things she had done. And um, let's, we got a the different writers on this are great. There's Sting, there's Tom Waits, Greg Brown, Willis Allen Ramsey, um, Judy Sill, Roland Sally, uh, Tom Littlefield, Steve Earle, Robbie Robertson, Jimmy Webb. I mean, it goes on and on. Uh, the song that I did, there's a whole bunch of different people on all the different tracks. I did a song called One Cool Remove, and it was written by Greg Brown and the... Um, band on this one. Let me find the track on here. Oh, here it is. So the uh, the band on this track is myself on bass, Jim Keltner, the great grim Jim Keltner on drums, Stuart Smith on guitar and keyboards on this, Larry Campbell on pedal steel guitar, Ben Montanch on organ, and Sean Colvin and Mary Chapin Carpenter on vocals on this. So this it's a strong lineup here. So let me just go ahead and, and play this. It's really a beautiful tune here. So see if there's any additional information here. Give a quick look through here. Sean is wonderful. She's one of the better singers. Oh, it was produced by Dave Kahn and Stuart Smith. Um, engineered by Julie Last, um, Steve uh, Adabob. Uh, Adabo, I believe is his name, Ray Martin. Now, there's a whole bunch of different people involved in this thing, and they're not all on this this specific track because they're kind of throughout the whole album. So let's just go ahead and listen to some music. So this is One Cool Remove, Sean Colvin's Cover Girl album. <laughs>
beautiful tune. It's a beautiful tune. It's a really beautiful album. A lot of really great music on this and uh, well worth uh, looking into. Um, so, Sean Colvin. Um, we got a fun week coming up. I think Sunday we're doing a thing um, at Austin City Limits um, with Ray Benson and Asleep at the Wheel. Uh, I think we, we're just doing like five tunes or something. It's some, I'm not sure. It's not a regular concert, but it's really going to be fun. Last time I saw Ray... I think was when the immediate family played at the Vancouver Island Festival and there was a big guitar fest at the thing, Wadi and Cooch and Postel and a whole bunch of other guys from all the different bands played and Ray played at that. It was really, really a lot of fun. So it's going to be good to see him again. I think I mentioned this maybe yesterday or the day before. Um, but I'm going to get my, my stuff together here and... Uh, get moving. Oh, also, um, let me think for a minute. Oh, yeah, I was, um, didn't mention it yesterday, but it was really sad to see uh, the passing of Raquel Welsh, just an, an iconic um, individual from, from certainly my growing up. Yeah, just, uh, uh, I remember being in New York one time walking down the street and I was standing at a stoplight and I looked next to me and she was standing next to me at the light. And I suddenly went, God, she, in my mind, I'm thinking, because she's much shorter than I thought. She always appeared almost Amazonian. I mean, just her presence on screen was big, but she was a kind of a diminutive gal. But I was sad to see the, her passing. In my, my heart's with her family and friends. It's, uh, it's tough to lose them, especially iconic characters of our, of our lives. You know, they seem like they'll be here forever. So um, I'm going to get running now. I'm going to wish everybody a great day. I will be back this afternoon with a venue wander through. And uh, sorry, I don't have any books out here anymore. I've been looking at trying to get some books out here, and it's just too complicated trying to see what would make it. By the, the, the time they need to ship stuff out, we'd be down to probably the last week of the tour, and then I'd be stuck with all the books because I'm losing these couple of weeks where I could be selling them. But I was thrilled that I sold, you know, everything I brought out here. And so when we go out with Lyle in the summer tour, I'm going to have plenty of time to prep for that. So I'll have books with me where I can do signing and all that stuff out there. So um, best to everybody. And I will see you in a couple hours after we get to the venue and see what we're getting ourselves into today. So take care. Sean Colvin, don't forget.